So with the hybrid propulsion, we thought you know we could get regeneration, and when we needed, uh, when we when the batteries ran out, we could use the diesels to back it up. We wanted to make a green boat, but long story short, in the end of the day, we didn't end up doing the electric propulsion system because it didn't meet our specifications for performance. In last week's video, Peter and Kiki gave an insight into their life on board the Vision 444 catamaran. The original plan was to make it hybrid electric, but during the building process in 2021, they changed their mind. In this video, Peter and Kiki explain why they decided to not go through with the ocean fold system and what they would have done differently if they were to order the boat today. Welcome to Boat Life is Best. Here you'll find interviews with sailors about their boats and their life on board. Ranging from family sailing to solo sailing, from absolute beginners to sailing legends, on big yachts and small boats, and from brand new to old school. If you like boat tours and conversations with sailors, definitely subscribe to the channel. The problem for us was are the particular company we chose and the, and the type of propulsion system that it was. So in, in, I'll try to do as brief as I can. So there's a Chevy Volt, yeah. and that has an electric motor, and that's the only thing connected to the wheels. And then you have a gas generator that charges the battery if it gets low. That's one kind of, that's called a serial electric, hybrid electric. Then there's parallel hybrid, which is the Prius. So the Prius, the, either the gas engine or the electric engine can drive the car. And that system is becoming very popular now because that's exactly what you want in a boat. Yeah. So, you know, in the harbor and at the mooring, you're just using a little electric and it's got nice torque. It's really fast and responsive. And then when you're out in the big stuff, you, you bring in the big boy and he's going at a high RPM where his sweet zone is. He's being used the most efficiently at that high RPM and he just drives the boat. And so it's exactly like a Prius. That is what the future is. And this design, ours was from Ocean Volt, was a serial design. I learned a little late, it wasn't gonna work for what we wanted to. All right. Which is blue water sailing, yeah. as well as coastal cruising and you know dinking around from town to town. Um, it, it just, it was the, the blue water part that we felt um, didn't, we didn't feel confident that it was gonna meet our needs. No. No because of being uh, what, underpowered. Yeah. Um, the technology not not s super well. They tested. also they didn't so they had a they showed a spec and when the motors arrived and the boat in front of us the prop was, you know, almost two and a half inches smaller diameter. And that's that's a significant amount of water that's not being moved, yeah. no matter how fast it's turning. There's just a number of little things that just didn't add up for us. No. And you know, there's a company in, in the Netherlands that makes a, something they can use a 17 inch prop and does, Bell Marine, and it works great. But it's also that electric model is less efficient than the Prius model. Which so is so more do efficient. you, what do you think is the, um, is the electric propulsion system that's being marketed right now for boats that is the closest? Beta Marine makes uh, be. Beta Marine makes basically the that's what the HH is going to use. Yeah. Um, that's what Voyage is going to switch to after Bell Marine, um, okay. and I yeah. think that's what Yamar is going to make a, a parallel one too. Yeah, but it's really interesting that you were going to go with Ocean Vault, but drop the idea because of the marketing now. I would say that Ocean Vault is kind of the way to go. They are the premier folks yeah um, but you know the experience from the boat in front of us I think their software wasn't up to snuff yet their product wasn't up to snuff yet it may be different now but certainly the design of their their sail drive was definitely not something I wanted for an ocean-going vessel and that's what uh, what's his name Cornell had the same experience he had a monohull and he had trouble moving the boat because the prop wasn't big enough to go in 10 foot seas. But it's great for coastal cruising. It's perfect for coastal cruising or for a monohull where you're not dependent on your engine. That we just didn't see, we were already with a new brand of boat, basically new sailors who were starting over again from scratch after 35 years on land. We didn't feel like that we were the people that needed to be beta testing this technology in the ocean in real time. By ourselves no you know it just seemed like too much yeah. if we'd been sailing for a decade and we were like yeah we want to you know 
you know, or if we were working for the company, you know, we'd go out and test it. But we really needed to get from South Africa to Antigua in one piece. And it, it wasn't, it, it just wasn't penciling out for us in terms of the kinds of conditions that we, we were hearing we were going to have to face. And we saw that the specs and the performance um, of the boat in front of us, and it wasn't performing. There were some things that it wasn't matching at all, and then there were some things that you could see it just couldn't do. And you know, something like regen is actually a, a great thing. So regen in a car, it's very simple. I'm coasting downhill. It's a very smooth hill. It, you know, the, the brakes know how to resist because it's good. But if you're going like this, now it's every couple of seconds, it's brakes, no brakes, brakes, no brakes. That takes a lot of software to develop so that it can continue to resist and actually regen. And I think, well, I know that the Ocean Bolt in front of us did not have that software yet. It, hopefully it does now, right. and I bet you it will. I mean, it's a solvable problem. It's just we didn't want to be the people helping them get that problem done while we're stuck in the middle of the ocean. You should have waited a couple more years. <laughs> well, so okay. actually, if, if I'd known about the Beta Marine, we probably would have tried to do it. But you know, it was COVID. Also, you know, to get that switch, and they're already waiting for. You know, we had we got we're lucky to even get the AMRs that we got. Yeah, it we were actually, having a lot of trouble. One of them had to be flown from Australia or something like that. It was pretty crazy. Yeah. Same with so. the batteries. We had a lot of trouble getting our batteries, so we were waiting around in South Africa for a couple extra months because the freighters were doing weird things, like deciding just not to go to Cape Town and not deliver our batteries and just keep going. So yeah. we had a lot of problems with that. We actually ended up crossing with one less battery than we were supposed to have. Let me know what you think of going hybrid electric on a sailboat. Also check out the full boat tour of Peter and Kiki's boat. It has some incredibly smart features I'm sure you'll like. The link is in the description below.